Mm-hmm. Name as many female, aka woman, women musicians as All you right, can. Let's right move now. on. Let's move on to now. a different topic. <laughs> let's move on to a different. Let's move on. Nate, name you know one. I don't right, know one. any. Name you know one. I don't name know one. any female musicians, man. Why? You, why would you do that to me? <laughs> Welcome to Joy Tactics. The podcast dedicated to all things joyful, joyous, and meeting as many celebrities as humanly possible. Hosted by Eric Rahill, Nate Veroni, and Jack Bensinger. Enjoy. Three, two, one, hit it. <laughs> I don't know if you could take it. I know you want to see me naked, naked, naked. And I'll be off that brown liquor, mm-hmm. thinking wild, wild thoughts. When I'm with you, all I get is wild thoughts. thoughts. Can you put out a whole album of you just covering every single Rihanna song, just with <laughs> beatboxing and <laughs> work, 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 work. Send me them. What's that one with Eminem? Yeah. Something about the kids. I don't know oh, what sold. that one is. Is she on that one? Inspired. No, she's probably not, is she? You know Rihanna. So, I don't. I don't know that one. Why did that just happen, so, right? Right. Well, yeah, you guys are curious why we're starting <laughs> with music. Well, we're covering the music industry this round. People have been asking us because this is what we're Begging doing. Begging us, really. <laughs> Oh shit, Jack. Yeah. Jack just whipped out an oh, electric shit. fucking guitar. Remember that? Oh my god. Wow. Somebody, no, what is that? that somebody somebody give a devious ass uh, type of give like a nice scary intro about what we're discussing today because this is <laughs> <laughs> the music industry is changing over time. <laughs> 20 years ago, you couldn't get a deal like you could today. It's all about engagement now in social media. The studios are irrelevant. Warner Brothers is <laughs> right, burning in hell, giving deals to rappers and all. I uh, you know, I went out. That's basically all I know about the music industry. <laughs> Dude, uh, that was crazy how fast you launched into that, Eric. That was like you had yeah. been waiting like your whole life to to say that right sentence. and my my brain was definitely catching up with my mouth i didn't really have it all that tightened up but I, was, I threw out all the words i know about the music industry <sighs> the music so industry, yeah man. we need to your time's come we need to talk we, about this we need to like we yeah. really do there's not um, enough joy in the music industry in the industry side of it right and the state of affairs need to be discussed this is our most requested thing Almost all of y'all listening right now, we know you guys are fucking frustrated with the, the contracts that you've been stuck in right now. You think, oh, mm-hmm. I'm going to go rock with yeah. this record label. I'm going to rock with this record label. And you just get stuck. And all of a sudden, you, we're, we're missing out on the Jimi Hendrixes, on the Avenged Sevenfolds, on the Selena Gomez's of our generation. Because, right. Uh, so hold on tight. Just we'll get you out of those contracts. Well, let's dig right into right. let's dig into contracts. I think that is right. Um, just something that I've been really wanting to talk about on this podcast is musicians' contract, <laughs> and yeah. um, it's about time. And yeah. this is I'm where a lot so of young artists are getting burned these days. That's for sure. They see, just, the, they see the um, whatever seven figures on the contract they think i'll never go hungry again i'm buy my mom a fucking uh compressor mercedes compressor well what they don't realize is that's signing your life away that's making a deal with the devil Mm -hmm. well it's short-sighted right because you it comes from not believing in yourself you think i'm gonna take a cookie now because i don't believe that i can make myself an apple pie tonight right you can yeah but you can right so I mean, what's talk the, about what clauses. is the trade off? What do you say? What is the trade off with this? You know what I'm saying? So the, the you could okay, take the contract, all right? right and I've yeah. been offered some of these contracts, you know. I know, me um, too. <laughs> and I've written what genre and I'm, and I'm saying no. For, dude. I've, I've written what a genre lot of them. Go ahead. What genre were you offered the contract for, Nate? Well, it was a new sort of genre that I had. I've been, you know how there's there's the points in music history when you know you have rock you have hip hop mm-hmm. you have love uh, r&b right and there's R&B, only so many genres blues. and at some point 
the genres need to meld together to form a new genre. Well, um, so I was one of the careful. trailblazers in uh, yodeling, and I mixed that with sort of hip hop and R and B, and just created a whole new sort of sector that was just my own. And, you the, and the labels and saw me, and they, you know, my, that? you know, my grandma had Alzheimer's. Of course. And does, does she know that? <laughs> of course. Bro. Oh, sorry. oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Weirdly I'm sorry. enough, that's not the time to joke about that. <laughs> I know. I know. I get a, I and know, you want to piss me I off? Yeah, keep talking about my grandma. No, I literally, I just started crying. <laughs> I just started crying. All right. Go ahead. No, she was so sweet. Her name was Betty. And she grew up in Wisconsin, Midwest, much. The bear. Jeez. Bear. And um, she used to be a yodeler. For fun, she'd go with her sister and yodel at places with her guitar. And she couldn't really remember much, but at the the end of her life, she could yodel like crazy. So she's there, kind of out of it. And then, well, you want to try some yodeling, Betty? Going crazy. So that's the power of the mind and the power of music. Mm, And that's why we're not taking this conversation lightly, because... Music is not is not numbers and uh, signing on a dotted line with Warner Brothers, whatever. No. Music is no, much it's more. A, it's a universal it's a, language. It's a language. A universal ling- first, linguistic Well, you guys language. remember about the one universal... This is the one universal music genre that I made last year, last Christmas time. Right. Singular universal music with a hundred-year-long song written by... I can't remember what his name was. Apple. Something, something about Apple. Uh, but that was a song that was a hundred years long that you would... The idea was you start playing it when you're one... Oh my mm, God! Welcome to the world. <laughs> Born in a hundred years, a hundred year long yeah. song, and it would keep going for every fucking year. You get all the way up to ninety seven, oh. ninety eight, ninety nine. Um, yeah. So you, was, but but to do that, to have that, you would need some Dalai Lama style musician figures to where you know how the Dalai Lama is chosen as a child in his whole yeah. life, or or her whole. I think it just has to be guys. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean it's it guys was. only for the Dalai Lama. It's guys there. only, and I'm trying to yeah. change it with well, strictly. We're trying to make a Dalit in letters. That's for sure. The Dalai Dalai Dalit Lama <laughs> is coming in quicker than you realize, and the revolution starts today. But imagine, because they used to have this in Aztec, all, all type of cultures where children are picked up and cho- they're made the chosen ones, and either they're sacrificed or they're made into some special type of priest. Getting some yeah, child yeah. who looks like it's going to have, right out of the womb, an amazing voice, putting it in the center of the earth at a temple that will be designed all metal, right by the core, so they stay warm, and just singing for 100 years. Their hair grows all along, their nails grow all along, they can't really see because they're raised in the dark. But, but it they're singing straight up, and when it finally, when they turn a hundred years old, their hair reaches the top of the earth, and we can yank them out oh. pr- and pick pluck them like onions, and they're perfectly healthy Why? even at that point. Yeah. Why do we weirdly bring so much magical realism to this podcast? I just, <laughs> I was just about to. I don't say know. That I don't same know. Exact I don't know. It's Eric. Like, I, I'm wondering uh, the same thing. I don't know. We like it's without even like, trying yeah. are doing. Are doing Literally like Alice in Wonderland Wonderland mixed with yeah. Lars von Trier mixed with like whatever we got. <laughs> right. Way, and just with our words, no budget. Uh, no budget. <laughs> We're going to be the first no podcast budge. nominated for an Oscar for sound design. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is what I want to say. You, you mentioned budget. Okay. Yeah. I. What do you guys think about this? I think that we should start a Joy Tactics budget. record label. Mm-hmm. Mm. And sign some artists, Not and gonna have kind. Of, and we're, we're, we're. Yeah, we could have auditions. Is that what you said? Mm-hmm. No, I said not gonna lie. Productions. Oh, well, I thought you said have a production company, NGL Productions. Not gonna lie. Records. We're in the background. We're the producers because producers don't have to know anything about music, as we know with Rick Rubin and fucking mm-hmm. Benny Blanco. All you have to do is just wear like. Uh, look kind of diff, you know, just have like a, a different type of swag to you. Out and me. I need to right. either gain 150 pounds or lose 150 pounds to get my look for this producer. So you want to weigh 20 I pounds? I think <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably a little bit more than that, but <clears throat> I think you need to gain a lot, like so much weight where you can't move and like the artist has to like come to come you to me, and you come sit to my in like palace. A, yeah, I'd like you're talking about Dub of the Hut. 
<laughs> yeah, like you're basically, I think, I, I don't know. There's something about that that I think you could pull out the best work yeah. out of somebody. You know what I'm saying? Or like, Can what's I, that in Dune, the Duke, you know? Yes, oh, the, the shit, all, right. it's all tall oh, right, with right, it. Right, right. Oh. Can I ask I, a Star I, Wars I hear question? some fucking white boy rapper and I get all tall because I love it. What's your Star Wars question, Jack? What is it? Um, <laughs> uh, Jabba the Hutt. That's from Star Wars? Of course it is. That's correct. Correct. Is their last name the Hutt, and are there other the Huts? There's is many there the Huts. Is there a Cassandra dude. the Hutt? Who else is in the family? Cassandra the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt. Liam the Hutt. Pizza the Hutt. Pizza the Don't out pizza. Nobody out pizza. Nobody out Jabba. That's actually the pizza. A, There's well. several Huts. That's actually a joke that was made in Spaceballs, the parody of Star Wars. Pizza the Why do I arrive Damn, at so many conclusions? It really is called Pizza Hut. When you really start saying that out loud, it's called Pizza Hut. When's the last time someone lived in a hut? P- uh, well, that we know. All, all over the, that I know personally. Well, clearly, all over the world, it's one of the most original of houses. Yeah, of course. Mixed in with Adobe. You know what word I wanted to shout out, actually, recently? Because no, respe- mm. no fucking respect at all. Hmm. So... So S O everybody puts respect on the R uh is it where's so up on the up on the winner's podium in words this is me like running running to catch up to you 10 years from now after I've lost my mind trying to tell you my word rankings <laughs> Do you want to know <laughs> be able to know where so is or what so is I have a simple song for you okay do a deer. Now this one, a female deer. Ray, so a drop of golden sun. Me, no, Ray. a name I Me. call myself. Fa, and that's said in the British style. Fa, keep, fa. Keep going. A long, long way to run. So Soy tactics remix. A needle <laughs> seed, <laughs> the sewing thread. <laughs> La. They gave up on law. You know this? They gave up on fucking law because it's so a needle pulling thread. Law, a note to follow. So they're that fucking lazy. They because they knew about so, dude. Because they knew about so. That's right. And Jack, what is your? Everyone wants to know what your what your word rankings are. Oh, I do your top top fifteen words. words. Aluminium, <laughs> aluminium, number one. Bouillon cube, number two. Uh, s- soliloquy, <laughs> number three. Soliloquy. Uh, <laughs> you got to do all fifteen, or we're not moving on. All fifteen words. How am I going to remember all? Of them? <laughs> this is tough. This is tough because I know you've been working on this list for well, a long 15 time. Fifteen words in the English language. I've been trying to memorize them for years. Nah, I'm pretty fluent. Pretty fluent. So there's. A, let's shout out a couple artists. Uh, music artist. Okay. Who's really doing it up in 2023 really the right doing way? It up like that? Who's doing well, it independently as well? Because there's a lot of artists on TikTok who are doing it kind of unrepresentedly. Right. You know what? The, can right. I make a pivot real quick? Mm-hmm. Just We yeah. can get back to this. but No, no, no. I really do think that if... You know that uh, Millie Vanilli, that, that mm-hmm. artist... Mm-hmm. in the 90s mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. it was like a, it was an artist that um what is that called had like a ghost writer and a ghost singer like they were just kind of the face of like the monkeys mus- yeah like the monkeys exactly i want somebody to do that with me like a really fucking incredible like busta rhymes fast rapper you mm-hmm. know and uh-huh. i could just be like could you imagine somebody me yeah. being all bald like with but Just. it's all Korean ballads. <laughs> <laughs> and like a you're Korean selling whiskey Buster like Rhymes. crazy in South Korea and in North Korea. And it brings them together. Finally, their love, their love for you. Like you <laughs> they draw, they parachute all these Nate Verone Korean superstar records into North Korea. But could you imagine me just fucking bald guy in the Lambo with the ass shaking? You know what I'm saying? And just... It, yeah. it it just sells yeah. itself. It would be it would be an instant. I would be an instant celebrity. So if anybody wants to ghostwrite for me and I'll sort of it. you know let me be the face of your your artistry, need to give you like a medically unsound fat ass surgically implanted. So it's shaking <laughs> like. Oh, uh, we should crazy. get you a fucking ass that goes back to your ear. It goes up to your ears. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you can use that as a headrest. Custom Lambo, so you can fit in it. 
Uh, you had to, you know, you had to get the suicide. It's not even a suicide door. It's like the entire yeah. back of the car detaches. You know what I'm saying? The booty side doors. You, you know the how it's like doors. the, um, like, um, yeah. I get. I guess like it would be funny if I had. Uh, you know how turtles have a shell. Yeah. Oh, yeah instead of, of the shell, I know. My that. whole that. back is like an ass cheek, like a fat oh, fucking ass. That's what and I'm it's saying. all jiggly too. And like that's kind of how Jabba the Hutt's built. He's all ass. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's oh, caked up. That's from, why he's I'm caked up from his head to oh, his chin to his belly. Well, what about the mm-hmm. longest crack? Is that an idea for you? What if the ass just stays normal, but we just <laughs> put the crack all up and down the side of your forehead? The you know crack goes up to my to the to all the way <laughs> up to my forehead oh, and goes yeah. down yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I wipe my my butthole's right here, and I wipe <laughs> it like this. <laughs> yeah. But the crack goes third all eye. the way down. The third the eye is line. the butthole. Nate Crack. Like Let's Joey not joke about the third eye. You guys like Joey Crack. Sorry, Pratt, right? sorry. You sorry. guys is all, is all calcified. I know it. Sorry. Oh, I hate about calcified. That, man. Do you guys know who I Joe Scarborough too. is? No, no, I don't. Hmm. That sounds Joe so Scarborough, familiar. Joe Scarborough, he is the host of a show called Morning Joe. Right, yes. Which is yes. a Democratic hero style. Sorry, uh, my dog's getting in. That's okay. Uh, style of news show. And he did a live performance of his band he did a live performance of a song he wrote called he's in a band he has a band and i'd love to play just a brief clip of this to show you what the peak of music can be like okay this is somebody who can do politics put it up to the mic oh shit he's kind of rocking called monkey house oh shit now this is fun this is purely just fun there's no sex there's no it just it's just about the music you're in the monkey house no way that was his real dream Okay, we get it. Okay, we get so, it. Give it up to Joe Scarborough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the talent that he has is incredible. He's a you know he'd be an incredible actor. You know he mm-hmm. is an incredible mm-hmm. model. Uh, basically, every news anchor mm-hmm. is a model. Um, but it's just sad to see how many people ha- like that. Like, well, clearly he he wanted to. What be do a we think about the the multi hyphenate musician like the Joe Scarborough? Is music in such a dire state right now that we just need people doing one thing and just focus on one thing? Because we have all these Donald Glovers out here mm-hmm. and jo- Joe Scarboroughs who think that, oh, I can just do everything and put like, uh, you know, I can do fucking be an actor. I can be a musician. Pick just, one. We are such pick. in a dire state right now of entertainment. Just pick one fucking thing. All right. right and stick to that and get We don't have to do that because we're in the point oh 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 one percent that do can do it in all type right of we're different we, can, we, we are hyphenate. yeah we can but we identify cook. as multi-hyphenates you know what i'm saying i'm not a comedian i'm not a filmmaker i'm not an actor i'm not a rapper i'm not a gymnast whatever the fuck you see me as a skateboarder professional skateboarder whatever all drink chugging whatever i'm a multi-hyphenate i am in the right. i am in the realm of pancake knowledge do you even know what that means no i no. don't couldn't understand what that meant Means. knowledge that covers a large surface area i know two facts right. about every single field on the fucking planet mm-hmm. versus pyramid knowledge where you know a lot about one thing but mm. if that thing becomes illegal you're yep. out mm. you're good. putting and all guys, your eggs in bubbles one basket, is going fucking crazy saying. i need to pause for one second i don't know what's Jesus going on i got it what's happening i'm so sorry I don't what's happening to figure out just I'm p- pausing because Bubbles is going crazy. I don't know what's going on. Well, okay, I'll put it well can I talk about this while you you're leaving? Okay, so this is a tangent, but I got a. This is probably just going to spoil my joy for the week, but um, oh, I got these new earbud uh earbuds. Sorry, um, <laughs> movie. And <laughs> they're the Bose Quiet Comfort Two earbuds. Really? Okay. W- are you wearing them? And just to cut, 
just to catch you up no i'm not wearing them right now i got new bluetooth earbuds eric the bose quiet comfort two earbuds i love okay? these. i love them bubbles just shout diarrhea all over the floor jesus so <laughs> i'm you're, so sorry well, i need to wipe it up and then i can continue okay i'm <laughs> okay. so sorry it's all go over. do your thing just it'll just take two minutes take care of okay. just do okay. it just fucking do it. it you piece of shit <laughs> good god so anyways there there's been a technology i've never been more i feel like a like how someone would feel if somebody time traveled from the mm. future and were to present to me a piece of technology that i would have no clue not even not even a single ounce of my brain can wrap around how this technology works and what happens is you put these earbuds in your ears and you can hear you know everything the outside world and then it a switch happens where it mutes outside sounds and it like goes into this noise canceling mode and there is yeah. i do not understand it is complete magic i have no fucking clue how what is it doing to noise cancel you know do you know do you, have you do you have any earbuds or headphones that do Let this me this ask is crazy you this. Are, these are buds or are they phones or they're, earbuds. They're, earbuds they're earbuds they're earbuds that are noise cancelizing uh but they the but they noise cancel what's that what sorry say that again <laughs> i think you broke up <laughs> i didn't say anything I didn't say okay anything. okay sorry <laughs> They are earbuds. So the, the astonishing thing is like, okay, noise yeah. canceling. I feel like maybe I'm just so far behind on that technology, but I feel like noise canceling technology is just, if you put it on, it just cancels out the, you know, just the right. inherent, I don't know how to say that. I'm just astounded by this technology. <laughs> have you ever had, has this ever happened to you? I'm wearing have you ever noise had canceling this? headphones, have you ever experienced Nate, right this? now. I'm wearing it right now, Nate. Can you hear me? But do they? I don't. I don't Wait. know how to express this. But wait, what? Can you hear me right now? Yes. Okay. Cool. 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 Uh, yes, they cancel noise. <laughs> what, what? What conversation are but we? How does that now? work? <laughs> I don't know, no. man. I mean, let me try and answer it here. Let's make our best guesses and then let's Google it. So my okay, guess. Okay, this is, is my guess. Oh, okay. Go ahead. My guess is that it is sending a sound into your ear. So it's like muting out the sound with like a white noise sort of sound that you can't even hear. Yeah. Okay. What's your guess? My guess is it is sucking air out of your ear physically and putting it back into the world uh, using nanotechnology. Okay. That's well, that's definitely wrong. Guess. All right. I mean, it's got to be, a, it's got to be like, because I don't think anything physic does something, does something physically open and close in there? I don't think so. I think. That's what it, I'm saying. Like, like nothing no, I don't is think like, it does. you. I think it emits think th a, a blocking style frequency that basically acts as a, as a Van Allen radiation belt for those who are with me on that, that don't believe that. An, oh shit. I'm not, I don't pass. even, that's too advanced for me. For those who don't know that human beings can't pass through the Van Allen radiation belt to get to the moon. And that's why we've never been there. Oh, that's right, right, right. what I'm saying. It's a fair, it's a audio, a wall of auditory molecular Faraday cage. Let's Google it. Okay. Okay. Eric, do you know how noise cancellation works? Essentially I do. Yeah. Very rudimentarily. <laughs> I can explain it in numbers, but probably not through my words. All right, so <laughs> okay, what, what, just, just tell just give us a hint. What two, number to seven, start with? eight. Yeah. Oh, really? Nine, nine thousand times <laughs> seven. I have times the answer, and it's crazy. Divided by what? what Are is you ready it? to fucking I need this? to know. Noise canceling devices have a built in microphone which produces the opposite reversed sound waves to neutralize surrounding noise. Of course. No. So that means if I was to go up in your ear and go like this, whoop. Your noise canceling headphones are gonna go like this. <laughs> Why can't they do this with camouflage? Basically, digital camel camel camouflage. You got a camera in the back, a camera in the front. Okay, or a display in the front. The camera in the back reverses the image to show on LED. 
what's in the back in the front so it looks like it's a right fucking there. Get us in Skunk Works. Get us in Raytheon. Please. We we could develop the craziest military technology. And can we design some toilet paper that doesn't break while you're cleaning up your dog's diarrhea? Because I just got diarrhea all on my hands in a way that fucking sucked. What about washable toilet paper? Is that a thing? That, that's got to be a thing. Mm-hmm. Those are called rags. Washable toilet paper. What if you did this? This would be so economical. You wipe your ass, okay, with a with a rewashable toilet paper, mm-hmm. and then you flush the the dookie down, okay, and then after you're done wiping with that, you take the toilet paper and you wash it in the toilet, like, and that's and it's all in one, you know, location. Damn. Right. And then you put it back up. Oh. See, that's how you, that's called conservation and saving the environment. It's not pretty. You know what I'm saying? No, it's ugly. It's not going to be pretty. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be gross. I get it, man. Sometimes the grossest thing you'll ever do is the cleanest thing you could have done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I Respect. just came up with that phrasing. Respect. So now where's it headed? Where's music headed? Because I have some thoughts. Uh, Lil Nas X brought rap to country, changed the game. I was trying to do it. I'm not saying he stole my shit, but I'm saying there are some crazy similarities in our work and style. Okay? (laughs) But I appreciate him, and I've been trying to get in contact with him. Just get a cup of coffee with him. I'll buy. (laughs) A cup of coffee with at (laughs) Starbucks. (laughs) Yo, I just thought of the fucking biggest life hack for picking somebody's brain. Hey, what's up? You want to go get lunch with me? Uh, I just want to pick your brain. Or not lunch, just a cup of coffee. It's easy as all hell. Let's get one cup, and then we can go when we're done drinking it. Meanwhile, have you guys have you guys really ever been like, can I go? Can I uh, pick your brain? Take you out Eric. to lunch. Pick your brain. I'm about to say the fucking punchline of the story. Oh, here, I, I thought that was the I thought the coffee was the punchline. No, dude, it's about to come. This is a life. Oh, pl- oh, please. And you please, need to please, listen please. because oh, shit. You, you pick people's brains all the time. You say one <laughs> cup, and then we're done. Then you whip out the biggest fucking cup in the fucking world that is eight oh. feet tall. Oh, yeah. And then you oh. suck for two weeks, letting me ask mm-hmm. and ask away. Excuse me, Quentin Tarantino. How do you get so smooth with it <laughs> socially? You bring in the catheter and like the fucking a drum to, to pee into behind you. It's like rolling behind you. <laughs> bring in the bubbler, the dry herb vaporizer. That's Y'all genius. Put a dry herb vaporizer, marijuana straw in a soda cup. Genius. Close the lid and smoke out the straw. Genius. Oh, I saw some boys <laughs> at the airport. They all had Arizona iced tea in their little side pockets on their backpacks. And I'm like, I can see the part where you twist it off and weed goes inside. So I took them by the neck and said, if I can get it together, you will be a little more secret with it. And stop smoking that shit. It'll make you psychotic. Uh, <laughs> next, time it, next time your juggler's coming out like a... Like a jugular. What, what, what do you guys think about? So artists are very troubled. There's I a know. lot of darkness. I know. In in a lot of artists, there's a lot of death. There is a lot of drug use. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of alcohol abuse, abuse. substance abuse. Yeah. But there's also a lot of creativity. And some artists need weed. They need to get blackout high to get into the studio. They need to get all fucked up before they get in the yeah. studio. I'm I'm this. I'm agreeing. That's how I I need to be when I get in there. I need to be fucked up out of my mind before I get in that fucking Sucked studio. Up. I don't mm-hmm. want to remember the the bars that I just put down in there. I don't want to remember yeah. the the yeah. shit that I just talked. Right. All right, and that's how that's my process. You know, this is a work environment. You got to get to work. Eric showed me this video yesterday. <laughs> Have you guys not seen this? <laughs> what is that? I've seen this I'll- yesterday. <laughs> When this is Nicki Minaj me. interviewing her uh, oh, potential yes, assistant yes. named Sachin. Yes. Oh, this it's uh, we need video. Sachin to be producing this shit now. Keep my ass, keep my ass in line. <laughs> if you're on lunch break right now, if you're eating lunch and you're about to go back to work and you're like, "All right, I got to stop the podcast." Do yourself a favor, just Google that clip and give yourself a little chuckle and then go back to work and everybody will be wondering why you're smiling. You can tell them. Yeah, you that's a legendary. You got to get to work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sachin. He was so serious. Oh, he he's like, so fucking serious. And they didn't make a reality make show with him. <laughs> She's busy. And if that's She's a busy. if that's really a horrible disease that's making his voice sound as such, 
we, I will be Maybe. donating ten dollar, ten to one hundred dollars <laughs> to a cause of my choice. Oh, not to so like the, the thing a, about a group that abuse. supports that disease. <laughs> yeah, substance abuse. Can you smoke crack and keep it on track? Smoking crack on track. Good question. I was just about to this ask. This is that. something that a lot I've of people asked. think that it's it could be done as a therapy or a, a, a assistantive drug, right? Every drug affects everybody differently. Hmm? When I go and do my short films, and I'm needing to get it to get get to the next level, and that director's riding my ass. Yeah. <laughs> You're not getting paid. You got a 19 year old. You got a 19 19 year old from NYU like dragging you across the parking lot at three in the morning. When the Columbia student is fucking giving me a a swishy. What do they call swirly? Swishy. Swirly. Bullying you like an 80s high school bully. I'm not with it today. Just get to. But yeah, yeah, let's just say I will turn to substances. I will abuse Adderall, Vyvanse. You can abuse uh, a fucking banana. Do you know what I'm saying? I know you can, There's dude. a difference between use and <laughs> abuse. So you have to know your limits. How many pipes can I hit before I go sh- pull up to work? Is it zero? Mm-hmm. Uh, for most people, it's zero, or you'll get fired, and you'll lose your families. And this goes but for, for God's uh, chosen. This isn't, just for, this isn't just for music. I don't want people to think that. Right. It, it's just so funny to me when I reflect on my time when I was on track to become a lawyer. And I was in law school, UVA. I was wondering, like, I'd come into the comedy scene, I'd be like, dang, there are so many parallels that I see. So you think it's just creatives who are abusing drugs, but the white-collar corporate world that I used to be a part of, we were doing lewds, man. We were doing lewds. I had this friend, Jonah Hill. Me and him used to get fucking looted out. I remember that amazing movie. Martin Scorsese's coming out with another, Killers of the... Flower Moon. He's done we it again, wait. apparently. People are saying this is He's, a top five. Uh, is it? Are people saying as such? I just saw that. Someone said yep. this is a top five Scorsese. Speaking One of, of music, that's words. music to my ear to my ears to hear that. I'm seeing it tomorrow. Right. Straight up. Shout out to Martin. What Scorsese. would your guys? May the, yeah. What would your guys? Because you know what I love about musicians is that they can disappear into a different person, a different alias. The weekend becomes the weekend. Right. Abel becomes the weekend. Yeah. (laughs) But before you said the weekend becomes the weekend, (laughs) which doesn't make sense. But Uh, the yes. So what is your guys' alternate persona? You know what I'm saying? mm Because I would love to disappear into a different person and become sort of a performance artist type sure. character almost you can create a new character as a musician as a comedian you have to be yourself uh or right. a version of yourself which i love that what do you what, do you guys have a persona that uh a name or sort of a style or a vibe that you would like to sort of embody as a musical artist if you were to hmm. go down that road hmm. which i i feel like we all will at some point in our careers we definitely will be doing that I know I will. Sooner than you can I think help. I would be fully silent in my day-to-day. No <laughs> interviews. Lou Reed, you know how Lou Reed used to give interviews all pissed off? Well, I'd give the interviews not speaking a word. Mouth <laughs> shut. Wow. You know who's got the best You're like the Mr. Jason Bean of Garula. music? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would be the Mr. Bean of music. Being all goofy, like falling over, tripping over shit, like causing the Eiffel Tower to fall down because I took out a bolt in one of them or something like this. That's actually genius. There's a backing, like, band and artist. Like, the front man doesn't mm-hmm. even sing. Like, the front man is just kind of, like, doing pratfalls and, like, that's a genius. That's I know, it is. You need incredible. to be doing music uh, producing. Please. Can I tell you guys my name? Yeah. What would it be? I don't have anything past this name. Okay, and maybe this is a part of a larger larger group, like the G Unit type of thing, the Saint Lunatics. But mm-hmm. I think my name should be the the City Dick Wizard. The City okay. Dick Wizard. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So and <City>. maybe <laughs> City Dick Wizard. 
okay and then my crew could be like the city dick boys like we're all like it's like what do you guys like think about boys. that <laughs> so uh, well I'm, I, I'm i'm loving it i'm in awe that's why i'm being quiet i'm just trying to process do you have a crazy wizard wizardly hat is the I could. Dick pr- featured in every song is it wrap around you like a belt <laughs> Like a like a what super saiyan kind of what tale? kind of music is it? Could it be? Samba? Well, I told you I just have a name right now, dude. I don't have anything past that, so we're working it out right now. What my well, fucking persona could be? Maybe I maybe I do roll with the wizard type shit. I wear a wizard hat and I'm smoking. You gotta like be careful long with wizard Gandalf right? pipes, right? Yeah, city dick wizard. Is it the city of dick wizards? You know what I'm saying? Like people who are wizards with the dick. You know what I'm saying? Like. Is it Camelot style music? You know, stuff like that. Like, is it wizardry, wizardly, Harry Potter style? Is it spooky like? Is it so basically sexual Harry Potter? Not minus the kids though. So like adult <laughs> run facility yeah. Harry Potter with sex. So wow, that's what's like as a wizard, dick wizard. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Because how does the Harry Potter theme song go? Yeah, so yeah, something in the same genre, but more sexy. That would be the hardest intro. <laughs> it's like all hickey music. That's what the first song would be. The first album is called music. music to give hickeys to. Oh, I love oh, that, shit. Sir Hickington. <laughs> Do you guys think you've gotten your last hickey? What did you just say? You did. I hate to think. Do you think you've gotten your last hickey? Oh shit! Do you think you'll be getting hickeys in your seventies? I bet Harrison Ford, Han Solo, bring it back to Star Wars. Han Solo's getting hickeys. Oh, I bet. uh, (laughs) Yeah, I bet he's getting hickey, hella hickeys on the bottom of his. Would you guys give me a hickey to get rid of one of my chronic headaches? If I said the only way I can do oh, it, we're on a camping trip. I need you to give me a hickey. I would give you I'm the fucking ad- craziest hickey of your life. <laughs> it would, it would, it would. It, you'd have a black and blue mark over your entire body, dude. Oh, it wouldn't be. You'd have a blood clot. That'd be the end. Damn. You can't handle a Nate hickey. Nate so hickey, <laughs> let me get this right because hickeys. I've been trying to scientifically understand hickeys for years you are essentially <laughs> sucking you're sucking so hard that you're sucking the blood up through the skin could this be real essentially yes my yeah. god and well this is a form of affection we are an interesting species we really are <laughs> there's something about humans man that just keeps me there's something back. about I us try to go kick it with why does pain feel so animal? good <laughs> Which one of us do you think has the the highest pain tolerance? It's not me. <laughs> definitely definitely not you, Eric. <laughs> yeah. Not Eric. If we got in a fucking fatal car crash, one of us is dead and I'm barely here, I'm gonna be screaming the most. <laughs> like Jack's eyes are like hanging out of his head like uh, Eric, know? would you let me waterboard you? Oh, that's not even painful. For what? For What's no the prize? reason. I'm reward oriented. Okay, if after the waterboard, um, you get to, um, have a shopping spree in oh where yeah now you're where? now you're thinking a little bit different now I said now I'm like spree. already saying yes in my head but where at a beverage depot like one of those big oh, like liquor stores with like with alcohol in all it all types of liquor. How much am I getting? Fifty, hundred dollars, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah, hundred dollar shopping spree. Yeah, you All get you like one bottle hours. of liquor and like some gum. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And I waterboard yeah. you for hours. Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> what's the What's that other water tor- water based torture where it's drip, 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 drip? Oh yeah, drip that right on your forehead. Yeah. Chinese could that really or... drive you mad? Uh, yeah. Of course it could. Why do you think we knew that? You know what I'm saying? I think I just feel like that I could withstand. With... No, I'd rather I think get I could withstand that too. You know what? Here's a life hack if you are ever about to get waterboarded. You're hmm. thinking, do I keep cyanide in my teeth so I can kill myself because I can't bear this? 
Try this instead. Keep a little, like, uh, ramen chicken flavor packet in your cheek. And then when the water comes in, mm. switch oh, that shit around. Oh, shit. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> you're just eating ramen. Mmm. CIA Jesus, secret. That's... Yep. <laughs> CIA secrets. Don't say I don't tell you that. that. Don't Can we get contacted by the CIA? Please. Mm. They just need to send us a sign. And by the way, they can use us any ways they any way they please. I'll turn over like a dog. Right. To, like, exposing We're the my most belly. manipulatable people on the planet. Like, I know. That's I know. We'll push any tor- sort of... We, we'll push any narrative you want. Like, just let it... I just want to... I just want in. I, you know what I'm saying? I don't care whether it's for good or evil, whatever. I just want to make a difference. I want to change the world. Same, I don't same. care if it's for good or whatever. <laughs> Eric's That's Jack's stand up, amazing stand up joke. Oh, uh, shit. yes. Is that your closer, Jack? No, that is uh, usually my second to last bit that I have a little tag. That's kind of my opener to the second to last bit. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Can we get riled up and a little angry towards the end here? Because I'm sick of just being pacifists. You know what I mean? Can what we get angry get about, about? Get, get yeah, all heated up? Go, I don't man. know, man. I, I just, there's mad. so much anger. I don't know where to put it. Let, 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 um, let it go, everyone. Let it go, everyone. Uh, what the fuck can we be mad about right now? Oh, my well, I'm mad at the... Ex- you know what? Can we get mad at the music executives? Of oh. course we can, man. Uh, because I have a few artists that I know and I've even seen personally that uh, have been r- rocked in a bad way by the music industry. Jarris. Russell Johnson. Simmons, we're coming for you, dude. Who else? Russell uh, Dr. Les Mis. Luke, we're coming for you, dude. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're saying these are the execs? I don't know who... Well, maybe those are producers, but I don't know the names of the executives, but I, we... Uh, get it right. Can Artists I say a message first. to the music executives right now? Please, please, dude. Go for it, man. If you are a music executive listening to this right now, guess mm-hmm. what? Enjoy the final days mm-hmm. because your time is fucking up. It's over for you. Mm-hmm. Because of the internet... Because yes. of, of of social media, we yes. no longer need you. We right. have a direct relationship with our audience now, and you are the middleman between that. And guess what? Yeah. Your time is You're done. You're Dunder Mifflin. Right. You're Dunder Mifflin, and guess what? <laughs> Uh, Michael Scott has a direct relationship with the with the consumer now. All right. He's going. Michael yep. Scott's going independent now. All right. 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 We and can put these shows without company. you. We can put this shit on streaming without you, okay? And, mm-hmm. and so, so enjoy this last couple days. And so you're wondering, what are we going to do with you now that we don't need you? <laughs> 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 um, that's a good question. Maybe we'll put you in a dunk tank <laughs> at the new DIY Bonnaroo that we don't need you to re- organize anymore. <laughs> You fuckers. <laughs> or maybe we'll shoot you in the head. Nah, all that's right, a little violent. Well, no, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I have a, can I finish off with a music uh, message to the music executives? Please. What do you, what well, do you well, well, well. So we finally caught your attention. Is 1,000 views finally enough for you to check us out on YouTube? Well, <laughs> you might know a little bit about me. You might have seen me on FX, whatever, a couple other channels channels by now you fools but what you don't know is i also make music and it's guitar (laughs) based and i sing and i (laughs) so wait are you trying to get a record deal (laughs) i i I don't know dude i like yes i would like a deal i would like at least for them to hear it and then hear their point of view because as much as we might not like them you know what i'm saying we do need them a little little record deal it's very interesting. I'm tempted to unleash my full brain power on this topic. But no, you can't, Jack. Jack, you'll die if time. you do that. I don't know, but I think I have to. <sighs> Fuck. Record deal. Okay, let me reorganize the letters. <laughs> decor. Dale. <laughs> lead, 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 lead. Decor. Oh, no, dude. Guess what oh, that means? Shit. We are lining our brains with the... Uh, 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 Sub, what's it called when you brainwash somebody? Brainwashing. brainwashing. Subliminal messaging. 
Oh yeah. There are there is lead in the radio waves. It's not just in the walls. It's not just in your phones. There are le- there is lead particles moving through the radio, infecting your brain. No, I'm just kidding. Life is amazing. Hey, give isn't it, up to it everybody sick that driving. we're poisoned by the very goods we pay for to make our lives better? Uh, go on about that. What did you just say? We buy things to make ourselves smell better. To Colognes, cover up what's perfumes. inside. Kanye. Deodorants. Remember that deodorant that gave us an allergic reaction, Jack? The old female deodorant? Spice. Mm. Well, the old spice. Well, did that not give you an allergic reaction? You said it hurt. Well, I got shingles. Yeah, it hurt. I got the classic style. style. Anyways, we're trying to smell better, make people like us more, and guess what's in these fucking things? Chemicals that will kill us. And we're paying. It's all starting to get to be a little too much. You know? Yeah. I hear you. And what is... Listen. Yeah. And there is an escape to all this. And I feel like music is an escape. Don't go there, man. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. I'm saying that music is the escape that we need. Of course it is. Right. So when we're in this dark world right now, some people go to comedy for their mm-hmm. escape, but people don't care about comedy anymore. All right. That comedy's over. People go to music to just get outside of this fucked up world. Your life can be so messed up and twisted and mm-hmm. disgusting. And you just need a little bit of yummy by Justin Bieber to get you out of that funk. Mm. You know? Oh, mm-hmm. did I I'm tell smiling. you guys I just saw this clip of Justin Bieber and I watched it 10, 12, literally maybe 20 times in a row. What was it? What was it? It's him singing with Kid Leroy. Justin Bieber's all drunk. He has his shirt off. He's in the back. He's not even on stage. Kid Leroy is singing, I do the same thing I told you that I never would. Don't do that change. Even when I knew I never could. Need you to stay. Need you to stay. Remember that song? Yeah, we know the song. You sound like a <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, just- <laughs> a beautiful children's dinosaur. Justin yeah. Bieber is singing it a cappella in the back, and he- it makes you remember why this man is a was a star. He just right. has one of the most beautiful voices on the planet. I'll find the clip. I'll send it out to everybody. It's, but just <laughs> look it up, okay? Because it's it's and he's all drunk as fuck. Just how I want to wow. be when I'm singing like that. Justin Bieber, that's man. amazing. That's beautiful. Anyways, what a legend. What a fucking legend. I love his music. What did I... Inter- I interrupted something you know, beautiful that was happening. No, you didn't. I don't remember. Um, music. Well, oh, I, music. I brought up Yummy. Uh, oh, oh I mean, the, I'm just saying we need those type of songs. They're amazing. It's a tool to bring... I mean, good God. Mm, yummy. Music is a tool. Let's not forget while we're wrapped up in the rat race of commodification of music... That music was originally a tool for what? For memorization. All of human knowledge was stored within the walls of frequencies, of beautiful melodies. That's why we can't memorize books anymore, because books used to be sang. That's how everybody memorized the Bible. These days, mm. the only thing we're memorizing is the freaking passcodes to our phones to log into these horrible, God damn it. sinful, if remote control right devices for our own brains. Name Nate, any name moment, as many, name a, yeah. Nate, name as many musicians as you can right now. And this podcast is what an hour oh, long. Cool. We, we have. F- tw- Do you want this to be a fifteen-day podcast, mm-hmm. dude? Name as many female, aka woman, women musicians as All you right, can. Let's right move now. on. Let's move on now. to a different topic. <laughs> let's move on to a different. Let's move on. Nate, name you know one. I don't right, know one. any. Name you one. know I don't name know one. any female musicians, man. Why? You, why would you do that to me? <laughs> uh, hey guy. Hey, this, you know what? This podcast. This podcast is giving. Um, I got an idea for a podcast. You know what I'm saying? This one is kind of... It's not our fault. It's not our fault. No. Listen, get, get, this is the beautiful... Th- give, me, give me a scenario, right? Paint, paint a scenario, and I'll tell you exactly what song that person needs to hear. <clears throat> okay, a strange, a strange son goes and visits his dying father. He hasn't seen him in 15 years, and he's playing the song into his ear to show him what music sounds like today. Uh, wait, what? So his, <laughs> you need to listen. Son, the son, <laughs> you the should. son. <laughs> so his son, who's estranged, he hasn't been to, around his dad in a while. Is going to no, he hasn't, and, and the dad is dying from an explosion, or not an explosion, son, but a. And so the son is just showing him what's sickness. on the radio these days. 
Okay, now I'm gonna tell you what's going, what song is playing in the background of that. <laughs> okay. Remember this song from the Blade Runner soundtrack? One more kiss, dear. One more fun. I can't remember. I how don't know that one. Don't. I don't know it, but, I, but I'm immediately <laughs> loving it. It's uh, kind of, I don't know how to describe it, almost like an old-timey little song that I could imagine just we're getting a slow push in on, these, on this dying man and his son showing the music, and we're hearing a song from his childhood as we see that. Um, wow. Music what song would you guys control. like to die to? What song would you guys like to die to? Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? <laughs> Someone's like, I'm going road rage incident. <laughs> Sixty-year-old man with a GoPro on his bike helmet choking me to death. Uh, Jason Bourne is old as Jason Bourne's choking you to death. I'm going out to that sexy red song with the trying to get my coochie scratched. <laughs> Shit, that's that's how I'm going out. How are you dying? Violently, slowly and violently, <laughs> wow. very slow over the course like of months. Oh shit! <clears throat> slowly and violently, somebody comes in and hits you in the head once a day or something. Like some, yeah, 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 yeah. What about you, Eric? Dang. Yeah, Eric. What's your song? When I That's was seventeen, Frank. it was a very good year. Wow. It was a very good year for small town girls and soft. Oh my God, summer night. The vibrato. A mass at a We'd hide from the lights on the village green when I was seventeen. And then he goes through every year of his. Well, then I would make up lyrics to go through every when single I was year of my life. Eighteen. <laughs> I, Do we have permission? Uh, didn't go to college. Huh? <laughs> Do we have permission if your death is filmed on video? Like, there's like <laughs> somebody's filming you die. Like to put that. Uh, yeah. You singing, clip it over that. You know what I'm saying? Do you, Do we have that permission? Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna. Okay. Be fun. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Like if Man. somebody shoots I'm like you, I'm really down on my luck. I'm like robbing it. a bunch of twelve-year-olds, and they gang up on me, and I'll kill me, Cat Williams style. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, wait, show the Cat Williams cut right now, Jack. Let's see the haircut. Oh yeah, you got a new. Let's fucking, see it, dude. <laughs> Who did you're that to you? With the new, uh, <laughs> you're now rocking. You're now rocking. What do they, they say? And I'm the newest member of the Rockefeller team. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, no, it was it was all fanned out when you first, yeah, yeah. Get that oh, berries and shit. cream style. You berries got them and po- cream yeah, it. those are the pointy toe berries and cream. That's the oh berries and cream shit, cut. the Bushwick berries and cream. Oh my god! Damn, when you texted that Nate, I was lol. That was good. That was a good one, man. You're looking like the Lord I fucking Farquaad. Oh, I'm looking like I'm looking like uh, not the Lord, but like the. I don't the know. Duke. General manager Farquad. Region, regional manager Farquad. <laughs> so here's the thing. I yeah. was looking for a, I thought, a Liz, I maybe, because you got to cover that hair up. <laughs> All right, stop, bitch. <laughs> Enough. It's not it's Enough. Not, it's too far. Okay. okay. I was wanting to get a haircut. I was in Crown Heights, and I walked into an Orthodox Jewish barber shop. Straight up. And I got the fade. And I walked out looking like an orthodox type of guy. Did they have any snacks? Did they have any snacks there? No. And he loved comedy. What barbershop has snacks? Oh, so let me fucking go then. Uh, Chop it up about Chris Kattan. Yeah, that was interesting. (laughs) He was a he was a big Shane Gillis fan, and had. Respect. No idea of the SNL of it all, which I guess is probably really. Most and you educated him at this point. And you no, educated dude. him. I pretended I didn't speak English the whole time. He did speak Russian, and I was popping off on him a little bit. 
Yablaka. Man. Shout out in the comments if you know what Yablaka means right now. Don't Google that shit. So what did you say to the barber, like, to get that haircut? Like, what, what, what did you go in with? Because, like, there had to be, like, some sort of... Cause, you know, they ask you, like, what do you special? want? Yeah. What did you say? Uh, you know what I said? I just showed him a picture of a banana peel from Mario Kart, and I said, you know what you do, <laughs> sir? No, I it said, take like- fucking half an inch off, whatever. Give me a trim. Like, don't even worry about it. He just had no concept of, like, layering or, like, whatever you'd call it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what it... Something like that, right? It's it blending, layering? Where it was... It wasn't... He wasn't cutting anything other than, like, the end of the hair. As if you were cutting, like, a piece of paper, a shape out of a piece of paper. There was no, he wasn't cutting this and this. Mm-hmm. He was just cutting the bottom. <laughs> so it kept all the thickness and it, like, you know what I'm saying? It was like a, it was like a free hand. It was like a fucking free solo yeah. bowl cut. You know what I'm saying? God. Like no bowl just going around an imaginary loop. It looks like your haircut was interrupted by like the Ottomans, like knocking down your rock gate and you fucking got to run to the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Run oh, to I, the I, fucking dude, castle walls. It's funny because I was talking to him about like, <clears throat> wow, do you think you could do this with no scissors? Like, what the fuck would you do? Would you just put it against your hand and get a rock and just like go at my fucking hair with a? Ah, yeah, oh, wait. Dude. Question, question. <laughs> Were they using yeah. rocks to cut hair back in the day? Sharp ass rocks, slate. First ever. Or were they cut. biting it oh, off? You know having a, a local hair biter with them sharp ass teeth, <laughs> going crazy <laughs> on the hair, giving you a fade. Well. well this is what the barber said to that is he said you know who probably got the first ever haircut was adam when he bit that apple eve probably wasn't happy about that probably cut his hair i don't get that joke (laughs) (laughs) yeah this is somebody who is not from the same environment that we are from what does that joke mean is that adam had russian Russian was this person's his first language was russian so he's he's saying to you can you imagine if if adam are Adam, when he ate the apple, Eve why got Why would she mad. need to cut his hair? Eve ate the apple, dude. I That's wish why. I, knew that. I wish I'd known that at the time. I would have sp- <laughs> spanked him. Spanked him. Yeah. Well. I love getting haircuts from Russian people. They give the most busted fucking haircuts in the world. You do cannot say that about a population, dude. Can they I tell do. you guys Prove something? me wrong. Please, man. What the fuck are you about to I say? I haven't had a haircut from a haircuttery in probably mm, six years because i do my own shit do you want to come to me to my barber next time you're at, staying at my house because it's so nice it's you like asmr right yeah i no i don't actually but do they they just make oh, it so nice what? on it. My barber, you can't find him on Google Maps. There's no store name. There's no reviews. It's just this shop called just Alba Barber a... Shop in Ridgewood. And he going. Does what are they gonna do with me? I'm bald though, you know. I mean, oh, he's just shaving think. my head. You think you're bald? They'll until shave you it go for to you. a nice, nice place, man. I you should know who has open a, a barber shop. Fucking joke. Who's what? a fucking About- joke, dude? Someone has a funny fucking joke. His name is Carmen Christopher. Shout out about haircuts. I'm not going to spoil <coughs> it, but it's fucking pretty fucking funny. <laughs> Go ahead. Go find that it. That should be our whole podcast. It's just like, you know who has a good ass song, and I don't want to even mention what it sounds <laughs> like, but fucking Crosby, Stills, and Nash. All we right, didn't really moment. get into it too hard about our favorite artists. We'll be going through. Oh, okay. we'll, you know what? We're going to be doing decades pretty soon here, like CNN does the 1970s and the 60s. Uh, yeah. So we'll get into our favorite artists at some point. But music industry, this is you're on watch right now. Industry you're on Joy Tactics to watch. Taking over. So be careful industry with and how if you, you. And mm-hmm. if you are a musician and you want to send us some music, we are putting together a a sort of new independent yes we are a label and we do have mm. kind of a fucked up contract that will let you that you have to sign and you know we are going to take advantage of you and make money off you but we're uh, we're giving you that exposure so mm-hmm. you don't realize that and in a lot so, of senses we're not even going to let you make music we're actually signing you to this contract to get rid of the competition right right for the people and who we, we only work directly in. with hospitals and hospices this will be for end of life care Different, right. in a so different your music country. has got to fit that yeah. vibe, <laughs> right? Be, right. Like, Moldovan. Both people have different tastes, so whatever you know, whatever. 
Yeah. So send us your and sort it's of. It's going like, to be an orchestra style too. Or, orchestra <laughs> your style hospice. Oh, I do want to say this about orchestras. Sometimes I'll be listening to. You heard me sing Frank Sinatra, and it sounded like you were listening to an MP3 of, of the man himself. Yeah, that was like six minutes ago. <laughs> but sometimes you, you okay when I listen to his orchestral you know recordings and they got a full band up in there on all them wind instruments string instruments brass uh percussion as well i think i nailed all of them it just sounds so clean and amazing can we bring some of that back the some big of that band? orchestral big, big band style big band oh, or a big yeah. band supporting a uh a, a golden voiced man or woman music. as they sing you know music. who you know who tried to do that i feel like adele nope alan Dershowitz. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Who? Michael Bublé. Dr. Bubbles. You know, he's good. Okay. He's Italian, People right? think he's cringy. He's kind of good. Isn't he I, not you know American? What? Michael Bublé. Did you know that? Is it, is it Michael? What is he? he? Actually sounds like he's actually an Italian man. No, you know he's not. Saying? Michael Bublé. <laughs> I swear. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure Michael Bublé does not have an American accent. He just sings like a slice of cheese. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 he's Italian. Uh, no, he's not. No, Italian. there's no way. You are the, sure you're putting yo. out. What did you, you put out some fact that, about the He's Jurassic Canadian, Park dude. Thing that's, that's the stretch. He's from he's Canada. He's Canadian? He doesn't yeah. have no. I swear to God, he's got an accent. He's oh, so go, foreign. Wait, just a. Uh, what's his name? You were walking Michael misinformation, Bublé. Bublé. Jack. <laughs> I'm Doctor Liar. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, let me just Dr. hear for one second. Here he is uh, talking to James Corden. Do you mind if we listen to some music? Can I just see what's on the radio? Yeah, of is that can. okay? No, you're thinking. Uh, That's Jim. No, wait a minute. Listen, James Corden's British. Is that who you're thinking of? Like, yeah. Willie Nelson's on that years old. Yeah. How did this happen? James Corden again. It's weird, right? It sounds weird. Yeah. It is weird though. So no, I was in there with the kids, giving them, you know, doing the shampoo and all that, and. That's a Canadian accent, dude. All right, my bad. I mean, he's definitely not (laughs) Italian, Jack. That's for sure. I thought he was like full on, like not even a native English speaker. Nah, dude. All right, it's all good. That's another piece it's of information good, that I just You can learned. never embarrass yourself in front of us. I, I've, I've embarrassed myself <laughs> way too much in the public school system to ever give a fuck about my life. Uh, oh, I embarrassed myself so bad this week, Nate. What did you do? Should we, should we say what gave I, us embarrassment? For the last year, I thought someone was someone else, and I was talking to them. I thought they were someone from Chicago. Oh and God. I was like, did they not recognize me at first? And then over the year, I was like, oh, they probably remember me, but they just don't want to chat that much. And then... Last time I saw this person, a couple nights ago, I was like, have you been back to Chicago recently? And they were like, uh, no, I never lived there. Oh. And so for this whole year, I thought this person, and I'll tell you who I thought this person was at the end, you will laugh. Okay. Okay, because we all know that person. <laughs> Sorry, listeners. <clears throat> Embarrassing. Sorry, y'all. You remember when Drake said that? What did he say? What did he say? Embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> He's, yeah. Why did he say that? Okay. What gave you guys joy this week? Well, I already spoiled mine, which was the Bose. I bought a Bose Comfort Quiet 2, and I don't understand the technology of how uh, noise cancellation works, but now I do, and it still feels like magic to me. And I was literally astounded when I put these in, and it pff, fucking the noise cancellation part hit. I was like, what is going on? Damn. This is crazy. It doesn't make you dizzy. No, it doesn't. The noise no. cancellation? Dizzy. <laughs> what are you talking like that, <laughs> man? Say? Oh, let me ask you guys Dizzy this. Huh? Sometimes when, and maybe if there's a doctor or listener listening, they can let me know what's up. Sometimes when I'm laying down on my back and I turn my head a little bit this way, I feel dizzy. Yes, I've had that. I've had that happen. That's not uh, tumor? Never. <clears throat> you know, it went away, mm. but it was... <clears throat> it was is that the, the it was when i had some other issue going on it was either like a sickness or like a back well i have no other issues i'm so all maybe it, healthy on every other front maybe it is a well, symptomatic apnea, yeah. or like the hamstring or oh no i'm all good oh i've been squatting again nice oh can so i the say hamstrings this? healed what this is big this is huge oh what? shit i what went to the gym 
and for the first time in seven eight months i was participated in leg day because my back is all fucked up and And how did it feel and it was scary for i'm going really light i'm doing 40 pounds you know like leg press just good just going so light because i don't want this to happen again but i felt i was like wow i can do sort of like back and leg sort of stuff without we need to blast your clean calories through your protein your chicken i saw the bowl that you sent jackie (laughs) boiled chicken and raw cauliflower slices no seasoning no no, none that was the worst meal i've ever i was like after (laughs) i ate that i was like this is the worst meal and that's tough for me yeah that was the worst meal i've ever eaten in my life (laughs) no salt well, the bro- the the cauliflower uh, had no. It was just raw. I just had three disgusting. chunks of raw cauliflower <laughs> and air fried chicken, and I was just eating I both. That. Of the, that sounds I was good, like, to be dude, quite honest. It sounds good to you. To be honest, like, cause have you seen me eat? I'll, I'll air fry up a chicken breast and eat it like a fucking carrot. Like I'll pick up the whole thing in my hand and just eat yeah. That shit. No, I know, I know. And that yeah, tastes we're on okay. the same wavelength. I don't. I haven't done that in a long time because I'm an adult and I have. <laughs> But that, and I like raw cauliflower too. So to be honest, it doesn't sound too bad. If you, you know what it, it was? It's because like, you put it in a bowl. I, I didn't have like, um, I, I didn't have a glass of water next to me. And I was just like, it was just getting, it was the most like <laughs> oh, non-moist thing. I've had, <laughs> You know, like it was just clogging oh, up my throat. And I was like, this tastes bad. Hey, I man. don't have water. Like to, it was just a bad meal. It was, it was awful. Would a person who loves themselves inside and out and truly want... Would a person who loves themselves eat that, Nate? <laughs> or is that Christ. the food of someone who's just trying to stay alive for their friends? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, that was a little far. That's a great... That's no, a, that's, that's, hey, I'm going to have to think on that. Next, think on that, listen, brother. Listen. Give your tongue something to look listen. forward to. Next time you're eating the Nature's Chicken Nugget, uh, the, the Nature's Steamed Chicken Nugget, <laughs> raw one chicken breast and raw cauliflower just get a little bit of uh either ranch or honey mustard just to dunk it you know you know i know i know i usually have some some sort of thing going on It it was a dire circumstance i had to eat really quickly and but yeah, I have a lot of, to think it. about and process and next episode i'll let you guys know how i've kind of yeah, hey, hey, this update. hey nate hmm do you ever air what? fry tofu? Mm, no, I don't. I don't really buy tofu ever. That isn't big. Do you mistake. do that fast and it's a fa- yeah. It's a really fast and easy way to get in some protein and make a nice bowl. Air fry some tofu. Ten minutes at four hundred. Put some soy sauce seasoning, whatever you want on that. Just all right. Um, hmm. What I'll think about that. My um satisfied ass joy this week. I had uh, uh 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 which one was I gonna pick? <laughs> Is it the sun? I'm struggling too, dude. I'm struggling to think of. Oh, I know something. Jack oh, and I had an amazing. Uh, we do a monthly show at Union Hall in New York, and it was a it was an all timer. I feel like show, really fun. Going up, doing what we call stand up, having a beer, laughing, LOLing. Um, great time. That was very fun. Yeah. Shout out to Honey Pluton. Jabuki. He was so funny. Tezabelle. Honey Pluton. She was Fucking. so funny. Jabuki. Yeah. He was so funny. We had some legends. Yeah. And when's Jack, the next one? Jack was on fire. I told you to your face, man. Hey, thanks, man. I, t- I always tell you you're my favorite comedian in New York, Eric. <laughs> when's the next one? Except we we have to promote our stuff. We, we know, never next promote. One, That's like the point of, of having month. a what, third what Wednesday day? of every, every month. Every th- the third Wednesday of every month, New York City. If you follow our socials, you'll see us. There you uh, go. If you fly out to go see this show, we will go to dinner with you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. Uh, yeah. Jack and, and as I long discussed as you pass the background and... check. As long as you pass the background <laughs> check. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, Jack, um, what gave you a country ass Why do I feel so much pressure? Joy. I feel so much pressure to pick what gave me joy. It's Didn't certainly we have McDonald's this week? Didn't we... 
Can I say uh, that real quick before you say it, like, while you think yeah, of yeah, something? Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If you fly out to see me, there's no background check. <laughs> All right, we're getting dinner, and I don't give a fuck who you are, if, what, what's what's going on in your mental state, whatever. No background check. There's no judgment in the Nate Verone mm-hmm. fucking entertainment universe. All right, I I see you as you, and I accept you as you. If you're some fucking psychotic killer, I'm gonna meet you there. You know what I'm saying? In the horror movie that I'm thinking of, it's that statement, and then cut to a dong gong, <laughs> and it's your shrunken head being held up by, and your hair's growing all along the back, and it's being held up like that. Well, they can't hold up my head, dude. I'm bald, man. They, what are they I'm saying the hair's grown out in the back. Oh, and they're oh holding that, it from the back. but then it would so dangle, you can't see like, the face? dangle down. Yeah, it would just be the top of the. <laughs> uh, okay, Jack, have you finally thought, thought of something? It's so tough. I don't know why. Why is it so tough? All right. I'll just say it's the sauna. Because okay. it, mm. it feels very good to sweat. I've been doing getting into the sauna at the gym a couple times a week. No, And just having um, 15 minutes, no cell phone, where I'm looking mm-hmm. at a piece of wood. Maybe I'm meditating, saying the word over and over again. Saying what word? Uh, oh, I'll tell you right now. Psych! You know that's a rule. That's a rule. You can't tell anybody. Right. Keep trying to but get Nate your knows ass. what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah. That's been giving me joy. And we're going to Asana tomorrow, aren't we? Some pre-joy. I believe so. I do believe so. And then I'll be singing a Scorsese movie. And then whatever, whatever. Listen, that's been Joy Tactics. You guys already know how it's going. If you like it, put in the comments below. If you let us, let us know what gave you joy this week. Jack. Eric. Nate. Out. We gotta Peace. figure out something there. Something to say at the end. I know. We we we're out the outro. Because if we oh, had the most synchronized, you know what I'm saying? Like the we ha- we should have the most. Oh, well, let's write one. Let's outro write one. in the world. All right, next episode. Hold us to it. We are gonna have the sickest, most rehearsed outro, singing and dancing. And it's gonna be long, like most of the podcast. It'll yeah, be like a 46 long. minute. Yeah. <laughs> right. Coda. Okay. See you guys. Bye guys. Bye. Well, that concludes another incredible fucking episode of Joy Tactics. Head over to patreon.com slash joy tactics to unlock exclusive weekly bonus episodes. And make sure to follow us on social media where we post fire TikToks and hilarious shit like that. And if you love the shit you just listened to make sure to subscribe, rate, and leave us a review. Thanks for listening and remember, we are shaped by our thoughts, we become what we think. When the mind is pure, joy follows like a shadow that never leaves.